Hello! <laughs> uh, here we are. Um, this is a sort of unboxing slash review um, of a product that um, someone sent me for nothing, which is rather nice of them. Um, I'm not being paid for this. Um, I received an email saying, would I like to make a video about this product? And um, they sent me a link, which is in the description below. And I said yes. Um, so they sent me one. So... Um, you know, full disclosure, here we are. <laughs> um, this is it here. It's a, it's a little voice recorder, a bit like a dictaphone, but without the little cassettes, if you remember those. The box is a little bit scuffed. It's also not sealed. Um, and the sort of what colour it is and that, what capacity it is, that hasn't been ticked either, as you can probably see. But it's got the a little barcode on it that someone stuck on the side of it. But again, it didn't come sealed. It, this is as is, first time I've opened it, so let's have a look and see what's inside. If I go in here... Uh, I mean, I it's obviously the box is designed for something that's obviously a bit bigger. Or they maybe they produce a range of these things and have a different product, but you know, the same same box. But anyway, this is actually quite a small one. Got no no weight to it really. Um, so kind of interesting. But um, the box plastic is a bit brittle, so it's got squished at some point take it out move it out of the way uh, so you get a little manual which we'll have a look at in a minute and you get a, a cable here that's USB A to um, micro B I think that's a micro B so it's your standard connector uh, they've got a little tongue in them so you have to be a little bit careful with that as you're shoving it in because sometimes the tongue can sort of get squashed sort of squashed in but but it's, yeah you get the cable with it so that's fine it's in a little bag bag isn't sealed has got a little thing there Ooh, that's a lovely 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 shiny reflective screen it's got eight gigabyte sticker on it so it must be the eight gigabyte version there's the USB port, volume control, don't know what A and B means. There's a mode button, a volume button, there's a power button. Let's see if it turns on. Welcome, it says. I don't know how I can see that. Probably can't see it at all, actually. Uh, mm, no, you can't see it at all. But it's got like a, the screen is, is well, I wonder if I turn the main light off. Let's see what happens if I do that. You can see it now, can't you? So it's got there's quite a nice soft sort of screen on it. Um it's got I mean it doesn't record it on it. Um I guess if I press record it'll do it, but that's it unboxing. Um I'll put the light back on. There we go. And we'll look at the manual. Please read manual before using it. Uh I don't know whether whether Companies would like to pay me for rewriting their manuals. They could do that. <laughs> I mean, obviously their English is a lot better than my Chinese, but I think a bit of polishing wouldn't hurt. Um, thanks for using our company's digital products. Well, you're most welcome. Um, do not attempt to repair it. Don't drop it. Always sound advice. Uh, right, don't take it into a sauna. Right, shan't be doing that. Um, and there's the little description of what the um, of what the buttons mean. Roll camera. Ooh, seems <laughs> right. Now, where I sit on manuals. Wow, that's um, there's a lot going on there. Where I sit on manuals is that. It, obviously having a manual is kind of handy but ideally you shouldn't need to look at it because you should just sort of use the product and it should be designed to be used rather than being over complicated so what I'll do is I'll have a little play with it and then I'll resume the video and we'll see how we get on I mean it's a bit it is quite plasticky but there's absolutely no weight to it and it looks like it's got a microphone on both sides oh it does left and right so it does stereo and it's got some inputs on it 
headphones and microphone inputs as well. There's no Bluetooth in it, but that doesn't matter. It says it's digital recorder, 3D sound, that's interesting, uh, an MP3 player. So I think it records straight to MP3, but anyway, I'll have a little play with it and then we'll, um, we'll carry on with the video. Uh, right, so um, I'm going to turn the lights off for this so you can see, a, see it better. I'll just reach over here and turn it off like that. So um, that's the main lights off. There are some other lights on so you can see what's going on. Um, I'm going to power it up. And it says welcome. And then you get the display like that. So uh, <laughs> it has actually got quite a lot of options on it which are a bit bewildering, but um, obviously it's it's more than... It, it records voices, but you can also use it to um, to play MP3, so it's like a sort of a multifunction thing, and you can put headphones in it. It's got a sort of a speaker um, built into it, but let's, um, let's just try and do a recording anyway, and you'll see what it's like. So if I do it like this, um, and then um, we'll start a recording going like that so it says please wait right so to to sort of double things up a little bit to keep the video as as you know as efficient as possible the next bit of the main video where i start talking about it what i'll do is with the audio for that the audio for that won't be from my road mics what i'll do is i'll i'll overdub the audio from this wav file when you plug it in it's got um, a record folder and in there it puts your WAV files and that, that's the WAV file. You could also record straight as MP3, which is kind of cool. Um, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll continue the video, but the sound you'll hear will be the WAV that the device recorded. OK, so let's see what that sounds like. And now it's recording and it says it's doing it at 512 kilobits per second. And as you can see, you can see that it's got two, it's doing left and right on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the recording and I'm going to just put it on the table like that. And I'm going to tap my fingers and I'm going to keep talking and um, move a few things around on the table and we'll see how well it, it gets on. What you notice now is that the screen has gone dark. Uh, obviously to preserve battery life, but it's, it's still recording because it's got a little, see the little red light, so it's still recording. So I'll move it around, and if, if you stand it up, that's what it sounds like when it's stood up. And it's not, it's not hugely stable, so it would be nice if it was a bit fatter on the bottom or had a little thing that sort of, so you could actually stand it upright. Um, because when it's down flat, I don't know how, well, we'll listen to it and we'll see how well it picks up the noise from the hands, so the vibrations on the table. So if you're in a meeting, is it going to pick up people writing with their pens or is it going to pick up, you know, what someone's talking about? So I'll stand it up again and we'll do it. So what I'm doing now, I'll, I'll, rotate, I'll rotate it around as well. So I stand here and talk and go, I'm talking while it's been turned round just to see what it's like and also deliberately rubbing it against there to see what it picks up and then uh, okay and that's, probably, <laughs> that's probably enough so if I now press record again that should then stop it well it's done record pausing so if I click the save button that has now saved it Oh, that's quite good, isn't it? So when the screen goes off, because obviously it times out to save battery, what it'll do is it will, um, when you press the record again, it wakes the screen up, but it doesn't obviously affect the recording. So you can wake the screen up and then do what you want. So that's kind of good. So you can't accidentally, you know, stop recording while it, so it wakes it up, you, put, then you press record again, it pauses it, and then when you've finished it, you press save, and it saves it. So now if I press the record button, it'll wake the screen up, which is what it's done. So 
that's quite intuitive once you get used to it. So realistically, the buttons you need are on the front of it anyway. And the buttons on the side are the things you use then when you're um, sort of, you know, playing it back and sort of modifying it and changing settings and that kind of thing. Because you can timestamp things, I think, on it. So it's that's kind of good. So let's listen to, let's see what it sounds like. Um, now I'm recording this using um, Rode um, wireless mics. So I'm going to uh, just play it and we'll see what it sounds like. And now it's recording and it says it's doing it at 512. I'm bringing it up to the mic. Bits per second. And as you can see, so obviously that's going to be a little bit tinny. Right what sort of volume can we get? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the recording. That's volume 31. So it does, uh, now does that rewind it if I press that? Oh, I'm in a different menu thing now. Ooh, delete all, don't want to do that. Please wait. Now it started recording again. As you can see, I'm not particularly familiar with the way the buttons work. So that's a record pause. Now, can I then, if I press and hold that, does that, because that would be quite intuitive, that would cancel the record. Does it do that? No. <laughs> it doesn't. Um, so how do I cancel then? Do I, would I have to do that and then that? That just saves it, doesn't it? So how do I delete that? So if I press menu and go to... Uh, delete one and press the menu button again no that's not doing it delete one like that uh, is that the one i want to delete i can't see what it says i'm guessing it is i hope it is so do that it's done a little tick on it and i'm Play the one that's there. And now it's recording and it says it's doing it at 512 kilobits per second. And as you can see. So I can do that and then click it to off. So what I'll do now is, I'll, that's made a recording. What I'll do now is I'll plug that into the computer and see what, see what's on there. Um, and then, uh, We'll talk about it some more. Right, so I plugged it in and it kind of goes into... Oh, it's gone to sleep again. Press any button to wake it up. Doesn't matter which one. Dink wakes it up. Uh, and you can see it's charging. It's sort of gone into like sort of PC mode. And what I'm seeing on the screen is it is obviously it behaves just like a memory stick. So it's kind of... Um, um, yeah, it's kind of just like a memory stick, really. Um, right, so I've been using it for a little while. And uh, <laughs> uh, here's a few... I, I thought I'd look into what the product was. So I went on the Amazon page, and there's a few little um, reviews of it. And one of them caught my eye about how they couldn't get the microphone input bit to work. So um, I'm going to... It's kind of handy because I want to answer that. Um, and it kind of goes back to the manual, which I haven't looked at. Um, and I wanted to try and see if I could use it without using it. And, you, and it is actually quite intuitive once you sort of tune in to, to, to what they're sort of talking about. So you switch it on and it comes on. You probably can't see it, but it's saying welcome at me. And then it goes to the the sort of list of recordings and then you can obviously press record and then it'll start recording and then you can press save and it'll save it but what we're really after is how to navigate the the menus on it and the way you do that is if you press the back button which is the save button it goes back to uh goes, goes up a level and there's uh i'll turn the main light off so you can see it better and there's a whole load of things there. So you've got music, recordings. So it's like a separate menu. So it's more like iPod sort of 
reminiscent of iPod, really, but it isn't, clearly. Because um, in many ways, it's better than that. So if I go to uh, record settings, and then, so basically you press play to, to say yes, and then save to sort of say no, go back. So if I now press play, it'll go into record settings. And I'm using these buttons on the side just to navigate. And there's an interesting one that says record from. So I press play to sort of select it and it's set to microphone, which is the microphones there. There's also line in, which is that bit there. So um, the reviewer didn't obviously select line in. So what I want to do for this bit is I'm going to set it recording and then we'll listen to what it sounds like again with its built-in mics and then what I'll do is I'll just unclip it I <laughs> I use these um, Rode um, mics so what I'll do is I'll we'll put them together and then we'll see what it sounds like and also because the the Rode mic uses three and a half mil jack plugs what I'll do is I'll I'll plug it into that line out and we'll get a comparison of of what it sounds like so um let's get that set up and we'll we'll do it so i've got the road one loose here so the sound might fluctuate a bit but you basically you can press the save button on it to go up a level and then the play button to select so it's like a two button operation so once you they could have written that on there but it doesn't matter because once you get the hang of it it's actually quite easy and you'll be flying around the menus quite quite nicely so it's on microphone at the moment so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put record and do some recording and i'll record with the the road obviously at the same time but now uh what you're hearing is the sound from the actual device itself so I can go in quite close and I can talk and that's what you're hearing now because I've, you know, when I edited the video, I swapped it over. So I'm going to talk a bit longer. So this is the microphone system built into the device. And then what I'll do now is I'll connect up the road and you can see uh, whether that makes any difference at all. So I'll stop the recording uh, now. So it's on pause and what I'll do is I'll save it by pressing save and that saved it. Now what I'll do, <laughs> it's probably going to annoy the, the GoPro a little bit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the main menu. I'm going to go to record settings and I'm going to go record from because it remembers where you were. And then I'm going to go line in by using so I can navigate using those ones on the side line in and I'm going to do play pause to select that and now when I go into it you can see it's got it selected so if I go back up I'm back to the main record setting so what I'm going to do now is um, unplug the road from the GoPro which is what I've done and I'm going to plug it into the device so now you can see that sort of twinkling away and we're we're using this so if i now record on this we'll see what it sounds like so i press record and it goes please wait and it's recording again so what it's recording now is it's recording from the road and it's doing it as mp3 192 k bits per second so the first part of this video had it as a wav and now we're doing it as mp3 so it'll record it straight to mp3 so i'm going to talk now and then what i'll do is i'll uh, when i edit this i'll switch it back uh, obviously at this point <laughs> i haven't heard it but you know when i come to edit it i'll um, i'll comment on it so now i can press the record button again if, well, oh actually this is a good time to to point out something quite interesting is that whenever i um select any button on there it it basically wakes up the screen so it doesn't matter what button you press. If the screen goes off, any button will wake it up. So now I can press save. And that's it saved. So the actual interface on it is actually quite intuitive. And it's quite it's quite um, versatile. And, really, yeah, spoiler alert, 
um, the sort of conclusion I'm going to reach is that there's actually quite a lot of device for, for basically 20 quid. I mean, it, it, it's got 8 gig of space in it. And at MP3 sort of levels, that's going to record colossal amounts, isn't it? So, um, as a I mean, it, it does look a little bit plasticky around the microphone area, but you're not going to, you know, you're not really going to notice that. Um, so, yeah, so I'll stop doing this little bit and then we'll carry on um, with the next part of the video. Uh, right. OK, so before I, um, you know, sum everything up and draw a conclusion, there's a couple of things I want to talk about. And one of them is the MP3 player in it. Um, it's got quite a nifty little MP3 player. So uh, you will need three and a half mil. Um, it doesn't use Bluetooth, which was a bit problematic for me <laughs> because just about every headphone in the house is Bluetooth. Obviously, on a device of this size, adding Bluetooth um, would increase the cost and have quite a sizable dent on battery life. So they have opted for a three and a half mil, which is fine. So you plug it in, and and there's your music. Now it does sound a little. There's not much bass to it, but it does sound quite good with the headphones um what i'll do is i'll get got a little set of ancient sort of nokia speakers i'm struggling to find three and a half mil devices but so we'll plug those in and we'll just flick flick the power on for that and have a listen and see what it sounds like so i'll go to i go just go to music and i'll just choose a song and that's quite a that's Pump up the volume as high as we can go. So that's 31. Quite loud, actually. This is a bit, a bit trebly, isn't it? So I'll bring it down a bit. Bring it down a little bit. So I think it depends on what speakers you plug into it. But these, but it's, um, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's got his own little speaker as well. But that's, that's a bit. I'll stop that because I'll start singing. That wouldn't be good. Um, so the MP3 player, and it's pretty nifty. Eight gig of space, eight gig of storage. is going to hold an awful lot of songs. Uh, so yeah, now, yes. You can do this on your phone. It is entirely possible that you can do this on your phone, but you're not going to get the battery life. And of course, it's your phone. So recording things on your phone is a bit problematic because of battery life mainly. Um, it suffers the same problem in that that actually stands up quite nicely. But when you're recording things on your phone, you, obviously you can't you know, play with your phone, can you? <laughs> So let's. So next thing I want to talk about. And this is the final thing before I sort of conclude. Next thing I want to talk about is what about recording over distances. So if you're, for example, um, you're going to a lecture because you're a student, uh, can you record the lecture? If you're, you know, if you're in a meeting or up before the judge, <laughs> can can you record what's going on? Um, there is a quite an interesting thing in the manual where it says don't use this to record things that you know you shouldn't be recording and I think we all know what that is. So um, yeah, so I'm not going to you know, test whether that works or not obviously, but we'll see just so what it's like over distances. What I'll do, I'll set recording and obviously I'm on the road plugged into the GoPro at the moment. I'll set it recording and then I'll swap the audio over and I'll walk away and I'll walk about seven or so metres just out the room down the corridor a little bit just to see what it picks up. So I'm going to set the record going. So I'm just going to press record on it and it'll do please wait and then um, we'll switch it over when it starts recording. So now it's recording and um, testing one, two, three. So I'm going to point the microphone, I'm going to walk in that direction. You can't see where I'm going to go, but I'm going to walk in that direction. And I'll point the microphone at it so that um, that's obviously one side. And then now I'm going to walk away. I'm going to keep talking while I'm doing it. I'm not going to change the volume of my voice and we'll see how well it copes with it. It'll probably obviously get quieter and quieter, but I don't know how much quieter it will be. So I'm now about seven meters away. 
and I'm going to walk, well, you know, walk back towards it now. I'm going to keep talking while I'm doing it. I'm getting a bit closer and I'm in the room now, so you might notice the acoustics change slightly or not, I don't know. So um, I'm right back there and I'm back. So what I'll do is I'll obviously uh, stop the recording and then um, switch back to the GoPro and then you can make your own conclusions on that. Um, so I'm going to save it now. So I'll just wake the screen up, press save and we're back on the GoPro. Uh, so, right, you can make your own mind up. I'm not trying to make decisions for you. Um, I will swap the audio over. At the various points in the video, you'll notice little things pop up in the bottom left-hand corner saying what the audio is. Um, I haven't really tweaked the levels. I don't really have the sort of... <laughs> these videos don't really have a high production value. Um, so it, it is as it is. If you've got any questions about it, you know, feel free to ask me in the comments. Um, they did send this to me for nothing. Um, I did receive an email saying, would I like to, you know, do a video on it? And I said, yep. So I don't, I don't get sent stuff very often. I'm not sponsored by anyone. Um, I will make an honest thing and I will, you know, declare that, that this was given to me free. So I suppose the question is, would I buy one? Um, and no because i've got this one <laughs> but, but if i was you know if i wanted to record something like a lecture or something like that 20 quid you can't really go on for 20 quid can you if i wanted an mp3 player but didn't drain the battery on my phone then 20 quid can't go on for 20 quid can you um it has other features as well um there's some quite intricate controls for the the playback uh, i haven't looked at the manual particularly um that's you know that's a good thing i think but obviously it has got a lot you get a lot of device there's a lot going on with that for for essentially 20 pounds so um i think if i was looking for an mp3 player or if i was looking for something to record uh and i'd, I'd get this now uh, maybe i would say that because they gave it to me free but actually i am going to use this um this is going to be great for going to the station listening to music rather than my phone because, you know, battery life on my phone is not great, especially when it's doing Bluetooth to the you know, earbuds. Uh, also, when it comes to when I'm making the videos, I can have this just sort of parked up in the corner, just recording, so that when I'm syncing things up, it's easier, because I can have that track going and then line everything up with the other tracks that are the, all the other devices I've got that record. So that might make that a bit easier. Um, so yeah, um, it's yeah. <laughs> I haven't really got anything else to say. Uh, if you have any questions, then stick them in the comments. Uh, liking and subscribing is appreciated. If you have something that you want to send me to to do a review of, then I will, obviously. Um, and um, thanks for watching.